Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyNote2Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to unroot, unbrick your Note 2. Um, before we begin, if you have a rooted phone and uh, you know you want to keep your settings and apps, um, you're going to actually just unroot it just for the hell of it, or you're going to unroot your phone, so uh, and then you're going to come back to it. Um, whatever, make a backup ROM in Clockwork My Recovery. If you don't know how, see the FAQ on my site. Um, Galaxy Note 2 root.com so make a backup ROM before you do anything and also after you make a backup ROM make a backup of your whole internal storage as in some cases you might have to do a factory reset after unrooting um, that might erase everything on your internal storage so before we begin make a backup ROM and uh, make a backup of your internal storage that will allow you to first um, get all of your stuff back, all your apps back, all your settings back because you have a backup ROM that you can restore to. And also, if you make a backup of your internal storage, no matter what, you'll have that. And uh, you know, if you lose everything, you can always copy it back into your phone. So go ahead and do that if you're paranoid. Um, let me tell you some of the cases that you might have to do a factory reset after unrooting are cases where you're coming from a custom ROM it might not boot after unrooting then you have to do a factory reset or if you're uh, installing a f you know if you're unrooting but uh, the software version you have is newer than the one you're installing and then you might have to do a factory reset also um, also you can do a factory reset uh, in clockwork my recovery before you do this um, that will not erase your contents of your internal storage um, if you're advanced enough to do that, you can do that. But I'm just gonna make this guide so um, so anybody who's a noob think they can follow it. They won't lose their data. So make a backup ROM in Clockwork My Recovery. Uh, make a backup of your internal storage. And also, if you're you can also do this if you're not rooted. Uh, in that case, you're kind of taking a chance. Just make a backup of your internal storage. At least you will not lose all your photos and videos. Um, so let's do this. The uh, first thing you'll want to do is. Uh, if you're in boot loop or whatever, um, let's just you know take the battery out. Let's say you're in a boot loop and you need to unbrick your phone. Um, so take it out, put it back in. Immediately hold down volume up, center, and the power button, and uh, your phone will power up. When you see the logo, keep holding down volume up and the center, but uh, let go of the power button. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong way. Sorry, uh, volume down, center, and the power button. All right until you see the warning screen. I got a little confused there. There we go. So power off your phone, uh, volume down, center home, and the power button, and you should be in this mode. Put the back cover in so the battery doesn't pop out accidentally. Hit volume up to continue, and continue, connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And also, you can do this without a computer if you want, using uh, Mobile Odin Pro. The process is nearly um, identical. Oh, no, actually, it's not for Mobile Odin Pro. Just download it, and you just have to select the uh, stock firmware, Tarda MD5. Maybe I'll have another guide for those of you who don't have uh, Windows. But uh, let's do use this method. Go ahead and go to your computer now. Next, go ahead and go to this site, uh, SamsungUpdates.com. There's actually two sites where you can download uh, Samsung firmware for free. SamsungUpdates.com, and then um, you know you can search for the model GTN 7100, and uh, you'll find a bunch of firmers here. And if you hover over uh, the region, it'll show you which firmware it is, uh, the OS version. You can try to get the one with the latest build date. Also, you can go to SamFirmware.com. I'm not going to SamFirmware.com, which I usually go to because uh, it's down today, but I'm here. And go ahead and download. Um, you can actually install any of these. If you have a GTN 7100, uh, by the way, this is only for GTN 7100 model, the International Galaxy Note 2. Um, you can actually install any of these. If you don't find the one in your country, just download the one that's similar to it. Um, for for this example, I just randomly downloaded the Egyptian one. And then one, once you download it, the download links is over here. The H, click on there. And uh, sometimes there might be a kernel or the ROM itself. Just download the ROM because the ROM includes the kernel. And once you download it, um, you get this, you know, file Samsung updates blah blah dot zip or whatever dot zip. Unzip it. You need to get the tar dot mb5 out of it. So I'm gonna extract all the files, which will unzip the files. And I'm gonna extract it. 
and I'll be back when this is extracted. So once it's extracted, extracted you'll get a folder um, called, let me close this, you'll get a folder called the, whatever the file name or whatever you named it and inside it this is the firmware file and the entire.md5 alright and next you'll need to download uh, odinv185.zip and uh, let me do this here I have a lot of files and if you unzip the files you'll get the odin program odin3v185.exe alright double click it to run it alright say yes and this will give you the Odin uh, interface. Now, the next thing is very simple. You have to have uh, uh, this yellow box with highlighted com. If you don't install Samsung USB drivers, I'll have the links in my website to the post. Check the links and then um, hit PDA. Don't touch anything else. Hit PDA and go ahead and find the file you, you just downloaded, uh, which is under my Samsung updates directory here. It might be called something different. Just keep a track of where you download it and uh, there we have it it's right there I'm going to double click it and I'm going to click on the tar.md5 file alright and hit OK and that's pretty much it and hit start and this will start the uh, unrooting process now if you don't have a uh, Windows computer what you can do is run mobile Odin and copy over the tar.md5 to anywhere on your phone and then find that file in Mobile Odin Pro. You might have to download additional files on the app, but it will automatically do it. Um, you can do it that way if you have Linux or Windows. And also, if you want to get, um, if you want to reset the counter because you're sending it straight back to Samsung uh, set Service Center, uh, you don't really have to. But if you want to, you can also run the Triangle Away app before you do this. Um, also, for those of you wondering, if you if you flash the official firmware like this method it will not increase the uh, binary count so you just have to run the triangle way app before you run this and then run this and you'll be on a per, uh, you're, you're, you'll be on a totally stock ROM uh, binary, binary count, count zero sorry I can't talk today because giants are playing giants are playing I'm too excited um, and uh, you'll be just fine and they won't be able to tell so after this is done if you're coming from a stock ROM most likely you'll not have to do a factory reset You'll still have your uh, internal st storage, photos, videos, all your settings and apps. Um, but again, if you're coming from a custom ROM, uh, you'll probably have to do a factory reset after. Or my recommendation is if you don't want to back up your internal storage, just do a factory reset in uh, Clockwork My Recovery, which will not erase your internal storage, and then just do this. And you'll be on a totally stock ROM, uh, and it will boot it up just fine. So I'll be back when this is done. It should take about five minutes. Go ahead and, and uh, uh, keep watching it if this is the first time. But um, if you're experienced, you can go ahead and take a smoke break like me. And also, if, if it freezes here, a lot of a lot of times that happens because uh, the US drivers are installed. You see the yellow comp sign, but it'll stall there. Don't worry about it. Um, reboot your phone into download mode, uh, just like you did before in the beginning of the video. Uh, Replug it, and also, um, try another USB port and also don't use a USB hub uh, because that can interfere so those are the things I've covered and if it stops in the middle or something you can always try it again again also make sure Samsung keys is off if you got it installed and that's pretty much it so I'll be back when this is done and we should have a fully unrooted unbricked Galaxy Note 2 on Egyptian uh, 4.1.1 Jelly Bean software Actually, uh, while this is going on, let's do something fun here. Uh, I just made a video on my main channel about Android news. Um, there was a question of the day, what would you do if somebody gave you a, yeah, iPad mini? Uh, if somebody gave me an iPad mini, there wouldn't be that someone anymore. Uh, I would use it as a drinks coaster. Let me check here, it's almost done. Um, I would throw the iPad mini at Tim Cook's stupid face and I would then proceed to run. Um, Interesting comments here. Shove it down their throat. All right, all right. I'll make a how to I, a smash iPad mini video. Mm -hmm. Very interesting comments. Anyway, it is done now, and your phone will start to reboot. And uh, my phone has rebooted. You can unplug the USB plug, and you'll see that it's booting. Um, and uh, it should boot in about five minutes. So I'll be back when this boots. 
So it is booting. Um, it should give me the the boot animation here in a second. There you go. Actually, it's it's actually what it's doing is it's actually going to stock recovery. It's kind of just you know updating stuff uh, with the official firmware, and it will probably reboot once more. So I'll be back when this is done. Hi folks, so my phone has rebooted just fine. If you see the Android upgrading, uh, if you see if it boots up all the way, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, there's still chances you might get force closes if you're coming from a custom ROM. So that's why I'll show you how to reset everything after for those of people who are having trouble. But if you're not having any trouble, um, you can just go ahead and run your phone the way it is uh, and uh, you're back on the stock ROM. So I'll be back. Hi folks, so I've rebooted and uh, everything seems to actually work just fine. I think I was on a uh, UK firmware before and let me check my firmware now. Um, I am back on, I'm on actually, uh, yeah, United Arab, uh, Arabic, Emir, Emir, UAE, alright, <laughs> sorry. Uh, for that one, that one, and uh, so I, this is what I did, I think this is the Egyptian version, I'm pretty sure, but all of those versions are compatible and uh, I'm it, it, they're all pretty much the same and uh, it, you know I've kept everything now if you don't get to this point let me show you how to do a factory reset uh, go ahead and uh, let's imagine your phone is still in boot loop then go ahead and plug it in hold down uh oh you gotta do it kinda quick put it in volume up center and the home button power button sorry uh, volume up center home and the power button and let go of the power button but keep holding down the volume up and the center button and this will enter you into the stock recovery upon which you can do a a reset and make sure you put the back cover on carefully because you might accidentally lose it while it's there just put it on just so it doesn't pop out and here you'll see menu here to do a factory reset that I was talking about earlier Wipe data factory reset. Now this will erase everything from your internal storage, um, not your SD card. You can also leave your micro SD card if you feel, you know, uh, paranoid. But go ahead and do that, and this will pretty much e erase everything, reset it to normal, um, and uh, you know, get your phone booting. So this is the only step you do if you have trouble. Um, with the ROM, the stock firmware you've installed, uh, most likely happen if you, you know, coming from a uh, custom ROM and you didn't do a factory reset before. Uh, so reboot system now, and uh, you should be all good to go, and you should be on totally stock, everything resetted, zipped. Um, actually, this is like a brand new phone on Egyptian uh, firmware now, so you can actually sell this phone. No one will have any kind of personal data whatsoever. Um, so that's pretty much it. Anyway, if you have a Galaxy Note 2, and if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button up there. Thanks a lot if you have. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxynote2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, um, tips, hacks, and more. The the email list hasn't really started, but once it gets started, it's going to be like once a week, and uh, it's going to be great. Um, you'll have uh, you know some Note 2 news once a week. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, um, I think that's it. Please, uh, you know, enjoy your phone. I'll just wait till the start screen comes in here to prove you to that now it's you know booting. Everything reset it. You should get now the uh, the actual welcome screen that shows you um, you know sign into your phone. And uh, it I think it should be in Egyptian since I installed the Egyptian firmware. But you can change the language easily on any firmware. So I'll be back when this completely boots up. So there you go. I've got it booted up, and uh, actually it's in UK. I don't know, I don't know why, but um, you can get all these languages. Most of the firmwares are <clears throat> identical. They're just slightly different for slightly different regions. Um, anyway, that's it. And have a great day, and stay high on Android, and see y'all later. Uh.